Hey guys, Kev Collects here, and I have another awesome, awesome review to do today. And this one's gonna be an action figure review um, on a, a line that I was a little hesitant on just because of the mass amount of Batman figures. Can you guess? Hmm? Who? Yeah, I'm talking about the DC Multiverse and McFarland line. Um, yeah, so I actually went to the store the other day and I saw Flash and honestly, I was so happy to see, <laughs> I mean, not finally see, cause I mean, I've definitely seen other characters aside from Batman and everything, but I was just happy to see someone a little more kind of like brighter and more fun and interesting. Um, and just visually, this figure looks so cool in box and the amount of accessories are just like insane. So, um, so yeah, I decided to pick them up and, uh, review them. So here we are. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing, I have nothing against Batman. It's just, I don't like when, so, when a lion makes a continuous character about like 30 times, not 30, maybe it's pushing it, maybe like 20 times before they actually <laughs> like to introduce a bunch of other characters. I mean, it's the multiverse, dudes. You know, the multiverse is huge. There's so many different characters and storylines to do. And it's just like, if they're, I, I just feel like it's opportunistic for a company when they do like a multiverse type of situation to really kind of just touch on the storylines that people never expected figures to get. I mean, characters to get figures of. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, what about Element Woman would be really cool from Flashpoint. I mean, like we have Flash, we have, um, Thomas Wayne, so I mean, like, I don't know, that'd be a really cool little, like, addition. It's a character barely anyone knows of and everything, but it's such a visually pleasing kind of character. Does the artwork of the character so cool? So I don't know, that'd be a cool figure. Like, yeah, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, all right? Um, oh my god, and some, maybe Young Justice figures would be cool. I would love to see a new revamp Young Justice kind of, like, line to go through. I mean, they made Teen Titans Cyborg, and no other characters that go with them so yeah <laughs> but okay all right so we got flash all right in his rebirth costume um right artwork on the back which honestly looks so so good i love this artwork um and one of the things i really love about the boxes too is that they showcase like really just i don't know i really do like the artwork that they showcase in it um and it is the same artwork on the card and that's a cool thing too is you get a collectible card to go with it all right so Let's get this guy unboxed and see what we got going on. So, um, yeah, so I definitely want to get into this wave. There's a few figures I actually have in like my Amazon cart right now, even my cart on walmart.com. Um, some figures I want to collect and everything. Uh, I'm not going to particularly go for any type of like teams or anything. I mean, I'm just going to kind of pick and choose whatever figures I kind of want and just go from there. I mean, honestly, I would love to kind of have them set up like their own multiverse Justice League type of team would be really cool. Um, I don't know, I think that'd be like really fun. Like I definitely feel like this line has so much promise, like and potential, like I'm really excited to see where we go down the wave or down the line and everything. Um, but yeah, I would just like to see a little more, a little more other, a little more of the other uh, not well-known characters. Like, even another Zatanna would be really cool, man. Zatanna's so freaking cool, and she never gets any figures. Like, damn. Damn, she's had so many cool costumes over the years. Um, yeah. So, let's see. And she she's a friend of Batman's. Yeah, you know, a possible, I mean, a previous love interest, I think, in one way or another. So... No, I just want to see a little more, dude. A little more. Yo, was that John Stewart? Green Lantern, not the animated, like the JLU animated series one, but the freaking, um, the actual like comic one they're making. Oh, and Todd McFarlane like just released on his Insta. Looks so fire. Oh my God, he looks so good that I'm like, that's probably like one of my like top figures for this year to get. He was always my favorite. Honestly, Hal Jordan. Mm -hmm. uh, not really a huge fan of Hal. I mean, I like him. I just don't. He's not my favorite favorite. I just think Jon Stewart has such like a kind of like, he has like a regalness to him, which is like a weird word. I don't think it's like the right kind of like word I was going for, but you know, he just has like something about him that seems like really kind of just like badass. And I, I don't know. 
I love him. I love him. All right. So out of box and everything, here we have him in the running pose that was um, that he was in in the box. All right. Just to give you guys a little kind of idea of the kind of like uh, kind of uh, poses you can kind of get him in. That is just sick. Like that is so so cool and i'm loving the articulation on these figures they're so awesome and the seven inch kind of scale is so nice it just feels so sizable in your hand like you could have like mini statues in a way um but yeah so oh nice and his face is painted like so perfect i'm not gonna lie it was stressing me out because i couldn't see inside the box to see his full face so i'm like if that one eye is wonky i swear to god i'll be pissed <laughs> Um, let's see. Okay. So, oh my god, Jesus. I'm having like a nerdgasm right now. Like, this figure just like is really nice. Really, really nice. Really nice. Okay. Let's try to like find out a way to like finagle his foot. Ah. right guys so damn and the sculpt work on this figure like yo they went in all right so here he is all right like all kind of in like a somewhat normal stance all right it's pretty cool pretty cool here is a look at his face you know let me get actually a little more lighting yeah there we go there we go so he has like a little kind of like side smirk i'm loving it very flash you know very barry allen he's very uh he's supposed to be like a jokester of the team you know uh i'm really really loving that right his outfit has a lot a lot of sculpted detail going in like you have some like ribbed effect here oh my god it's like goes from rib to like smooth pieces and you have like the um just have like this beautiful beautiful line work going on you know and the fact that like majority of this figure's uh like lightning bolt details are sculpted like just blows me out of the water like they i mean i don't want to say they could have because i didn't i wouldn't really want them to with the you know the stuff we have nowadays for making figures you know the technology is like so far along that you know we can do so much but so little and um All right, so yeah, so this is sculpted. Like that is so nice. Like look at the way that pops out. Like look at that. All right, we have sculpt work going on the gloves. Right, oh my God. Um, So one of the things that they're using with this is they're using the kind of like soft plastic around the lower torso and everything. So they could do more kind of articulation in terms of the waist. So you have like a pivot, you have a swivel. Um, it's it's wild it's wild all right but um but yeah just getting a good look at the line work and stuff the detailing my god it's so beautiful 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 i'm in love with this figure like oh my god all right and the little lightning bolts on the head are perfect Got all this stuff going on it's just awesome even down to the boots have like nice line work and detailing put in you know um there are like a lot of little pegs that you can kind of see in everything, which isn't necessarily the best, but you know what? In terms of what you get and the price point you have and that's what it can do and the detail, that's honestly the last thing I'm worrying about on my list. Right, and then he has a little like peg hole here for um, some of the pieces, which are actually more detailed than I actually thought. So yeah, all right. But just going with articulation with this guy here, all right, so his arms, can go up about about that far and everything so pretty nice pretty nice all right um they can go forward all the way around all right he does have a butterfly joint so let me see so let's see if i swivel it so his chest is a little broad and everything so the butterfly joint doesn't necessarily go 100 percent perfect perfect like, it doesn't go that, that much in, but I mean, it goes in enough that I feel like, you know, without it, 
it just wouldn't work as well. So I am happy about that. All right, I'm just trying to see like, yeah. So, I mean, you could play around with it and get him to kind of maybe go a little bit more. I just don't want to push it and kind of break the figure. Um, but yeah, so his wrists are, I mean, his uh, elbows are double jointed. All right, so his arms can go in like that. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. All right, looks like he's about to punch himself in the face. My God. Um, all right, when it comes to his wrists and everything, his wrists do go back and forth. Right, and you can also swivel it, swivel the hinge and everything, play around with that. So his arm can pretty much go like all around, up and down, everywhere. So that's fun, that's fun. All right, and that goes for both of them. This hand is a little more like flat out. It is a little warped. I mean, it's it's weird because it's just like, it looks like it's a little more warped, but I don't know if like, I don't know if maybe it's supposed to be like that because it's, I don't know. It just doesn't look like it would bend back. Like, it looks like it's supposed to be like that, but it just seems like his hand goes a little more like, I can't even get my hand to go like out like that, but yeah, but you know, whatever. Not a huge, huge deal, all right? But actually with his head and everything, so his head can look up like that much and everything, which honestly for the figure, I think that's fine. I don't think it needs to go up that much. You know, uh, that's what it goes to like normally and then it can't really go down that much but with a little working with the chest area you can get him to look down i mean it's not like impossible all right so that's awesome but yeah going down to the chest and everything he does have a nice little like swivel right here which is so so nice all right so he can go all the way around he can go back about that much he can go forward about that much and then on top of it if you want to use his um i don't know exactly what the joints called and everything but when it comes to his lower torso because of this little kind of plastic soft plastic piece it hides i guess a joint that allows him to move forward even far farther and then in combined like in combination with like the rest of his articulation you, know, you can go in pretty far and he can go back really really nice like dude like Oh my god, just imagine him just like dodging a bullet that way, like just being able to just like, or like a blade, like, dude, the poseability on this is gonna be so much fun, um, and the display and everything, alright, so, yeah, I'm like loving this, loving this, alright, and honestly, it's not even that noticeable, it's very like, you wouldn't even know it's really like a separate kind of piece and everything, unless you really looked at it, um, you know, because this works really nice. It hugs his hips really nice. So, yeah. All right. But when it comes to the legs, right, his leg can go up about that much. All right. So it's pretty sizable amount. All right. Um, it can go back, uh, back about that much and everything. And it does start to kind of go sideways just because of the plastic here. It doesn't really move in as much so you know it's it's all it's a good amount it's a good amount but you don't want to do it too much you don't want to warp the plastic like yeah i can already see it start to like warp a little so be a little careful about that how much you play around with that all right um when it comes to his knees his knees do have a double hinge all right or double they're double jointed and everything so it can go in like this looks pretty nice from the front you know not too bad not too shabby all right so he can kind of just really just look like he's going for it and i'm living for this all right when it comes to his okay so he has no swivel or anything or articulation at his calf um which is like honestly fine by me all right but when it comes to his foot his foot does have a little hinge so go up it can go back that much so really nice there and then you can get a little bit of like a pivot um it's one of those things that's kind of similar to his wrist that you can just like turn the ball and kind of just play with it that way and how you would want to um display it that way because like the more you can turn it then have it let's see you can turn it that turn the ball that way and then turn his foot separate and just yeah you kind of have his like like a bunch of different stuff and everything so it's really really articulated so that's pretty nice. All right. Um, and then the last part is going to be his tour articulation. So his tour articulation looks like that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. You know, I initially used to not like tour articulations. I thought it was a little ugly looking. But when it comes, you know, when it comes down to it, it is really awesome. The way you can really make things like m way more realistic. Like, 
I don't know, especially with a running pose and everything, and someone like him, I feel like the torque regulation works really, really well. You know, he really just looks like he's just pushing off, and that's so, so cool. So yeah, all right, so that is the articulation and everything on the flash. Um, let's get into his accessories now. So, he does have about six accessories. All right. So this is what they look like. All right, so he has like six accessories. They do all um, represent like electric bolts, like when he's running and stuff like that. Uh, the kind of like energy and friction he can kind of conjure up. And then I also have this other one which pegs into his back, which is really cool because it's like two separate pieces. But then on top of that, they're actually ratcheted. So you can turn it like one up, one down, blah, blah, blah. And they do have little kind of like ratchet joints just right here. All right. I don't know if you can hear. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty sick. That is pretty, pretty sick. So let's see. Let's get him all energized up and see what we come out with. I think that go up like this. Where is it? Oh. Yeah, okay, go like that. All right. So. Okay, so you know what? So the reason, I, I, you know, I should have even put that together initially and everything. But yeah, the reason why there are like a lot of holes and everything in his body is because they're all supposed to be connected to some form of the electric little pieces. It's a little hard kind of figuring out which goes where though, if I'm gonna be honest. Oh, so this one goes in his foot. I, okay, here we go. That makes sense. And then it lines up, all right, oh sick. Damn, these are freaking cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to collect more of these. I'm really digging this. All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I'm putting them in the right way and everything. I feel like they're probably somewhat off, but you know what? Who really cares? I mean, you get to play with it how you want to play with it, kind of like figure out like what looks best for you. And uh, yeah. All right. So here's my best attempt at getting him in a electrified running pose. All right, which is pretty awesome. All righty. So yeah, as you can see, there is like so much going on with him. Like he's a very visually pleasing figure. And I mean like, yeah, that is just so, so sick. Let's see, I'm trying to think what looks best. Like, I guess I mean, if I had one of them kind of like up or something and one like that, yeah. All right, so it's pretty awesome. Like, damn. See, and I'm trying, I want to definitely try to get into like photographing these figures and everything and learning how to like make the best of what I got because I swear you can probably come up with some really visually amazing things with this figure. <laughs> so sick, dude. So sick. All right. And I mean, like, the only other figures I do have in the multiverse. I mean, the DC Multiverse McFarlane figures at the moment are really just uh, Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman from Wonder Woman 2. And then I have the Drowned because, like, honestly, this figure... I mean, this figure, too. These figures are just beautiful. They're gorgeous figures to look at. Like, you know, and I just... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... I'm in love. I'm in love with action figures. I'm in love with big action figures. I'm in love with really articulated action figures. So... I don't know, do the, what you the, do what you must with this info, but honestly, guys, I really do recommend this figure. I really do. I recommend all of them and everything. And I know lately shipments haven't really been the best at all places and everything. So, you know, 
things trickle in, trickle out. So I say just be on the lookout, you know, you'll find the stuff. You know, if you don't want to, you can always just go on eBay, Mercury. If you want to get stuff for a little bit more, because like usually people do up the prices. Um, but I don't know. I'm definitely going to be picking up some more of these guys. So expect some more reviews soon. And um, yeah. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope I helped you out a little bit. Uh, make up your decision, if anything. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed this. So I will see you guys next time. Definitely comment if you would like to. I love subscribing and everything. Um, you know, uh, yeah. All right, guys. So hope you have an awesome day and everything. And I will see you guys next time on Kev Collects. Peace.